happiness does not come from achievements. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Um, I, I won't say happiness doesn't come from some money. There's, for the most part, you know, like buy that little thing you want to. You've always wanted to buy, like your bike that you want to go mountain biking with. Have your house or have an apartment. Mm -hmm. Have food. Like those things. Absolutely. Anybody who tells you money doesn't make you happy, I would say. I call BS You're on wrong. that because <laughs> I've been so broke with, when my wife and I got married, we were totally broke musicians. Both of us living in a one uh, bedroom studio apartment that we barely could afford. In Vegas or where we go? In, uh, in LA actually, okay. in Hollywood. Because um, we were trying to break into the scene so we both... What year is this? This or? is 2009? So 10, 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, something like that. 2009. Um, with a baby sleeping in the closet and no me <laughs> medical insurance and like we just it was a really you know scary time for us but we and so we were happy but we were very stressed so the definition of greatness I'd say true humility mm. like the people I respect the most and I'm like that person is great I think of like my dad mm. I think of people who just and it's, I say true humility because there's a lot of false humility and people are like oh but it's hard to find somebody who really just spends their whole life mm. just making other people around them feel good. Yeah. Because they just, that's what they do. Yeah. So, pa passionate is another word for happiness uh, to a degree to me. I think um, music for me, there was nothing I would rather do with my day than sit down and create. And the thought of there is nothing, there's a blank canvas. And now I get to make this into something and then I get to listen to it and I have it as an, in an archive and it's, right. that was exciting for me. Um, just in the way that other art is. I love to draw. I love, you know, creating something from nothing and then having it and capturing a moment or a feeling or a thought. I think the first thing I would say that's the obvious thing uh, that was the quickest thing that I've learned in my life was love completely... Um, yeah, just love completely. Mm. Like everybody you meet, give them complete love, mm. acceptance. And um, yeah, that would be one. Okay. I think two would be love yourself. Mm. Yeah. I think yeah, that sounds like it would be covered in one, but I think I'd reiterate yeah, it in two because it just needs to be said. I have had a really hard time coming to terms with myself, loving myself. Mm. I think that's really, really important to love yourself. Uh, and three, do more of what makes you happy. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, it's easy to feel guilty um, uh, because you're, you need to do more of, you know, I don't know, I just think do more of what makes you happy. Like yeah. you just, it's not, I'm not I, I know that sounds selfish <laughs> to some people, but it might make you extremely happy to serve others, yeah. right? You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, that might make you super happy. It makes me happy. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm great at it, but. I, it makes me happy. So yeah. do more of what makes you genuinely happy. Yeah. Maybe I'd throw in genuinely. But yeah. I, a deep fear for me is losing people I love. Mm. For sure. That, that I know that a lot of people say that, but for me, that authentically, for, I've lost. I've lost quite a few. Maybe an unusual amount of friends. I really believe that, as cliche as it is, you you absolutely should be doing what you love. Uh, I think you'll do it better than you'll do anything else. If you're in a career uh, just to make ends meet, I completely understand that. That might be a choice you need to make. So I'm not saying you know your job is necessarily going to be something you love. Um, but I think every day you should do something that you love as much as possible. And I think that you'll end up where you're meant to end up. If you really are pursuing um, your truth, exploring the world, there is going to be something you love, for sure. I've met a lot of people who say, well, I haven't found what I love yet. Keep exploring. You'll find what you love. And then do it. Uh, do it every day if you can. Um, do it for your living if you can, of course. And that's, that's, a, that's the pursuit of life, I think. And that's not selfish. I think that's just loving yourself. Will you stop? This is the real Dan Reynolds oh. that nobody knows about. My gosh. It was my life. It was all I did since I was 12 when I started to deal with um, mental health issues. Um, music was therapeutic for me in a way that nothing else was. I felt like I could communicate in a way that um, I wasn't able to to an adult or to, to anyone really. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I say, you know, that's why I say I feel like it kind of chose me because I, I really feel like I didn't have a choice. I felt like music was just, if I was going to stay alive, I was going to do music. Yeah. And I, I genuinely feel like music saved my life in that way. So, so academia was pushed quite a bit. I've, uh, my brothers are plastic surgeon, anesthesiologist, dentist, and the rest are attorneys. Uh, 